I'm going to show you how to tone your paper using charcoal. Um, so this is kind of messy, so you're going to want your paper taped down to a surface, um, such as your drawing board or I'm using a piece of scrap mat board. Um, you may even want to do this outside. Uh, so I've taped down my paper around its perimeter with, I've used painter's tape, but drafting tape is also good since it's made for paper. You'll also want vine charcoal. It's very important that you use vine and not compressed. Vine charcoal is not very dense. Um, it will easily blend and most importantly for subtractive or reductive value techniques, it will erase easily. Uh, compressed charcoal will not erase so easily. You'll also want something to blend out your charcoal. So I'm gonna use a scrap rag from, a, from an old t-shirt, uh, but a paper towel could work as well. Okay, I have these really fat, big vine charcoals I'm gonna try out on this. Um, but you're gonna just take your charcoal on your, its side and you're gonna cover your paper. Sorry, I'm probably shaking the camera. And our goal with this is to end up with a really even sort of mid-tone gray. So once I get this covered, I am going to buff it out with my rag. And this big charcoal is actually leaving some texture, so I'm going to go in with my smaller, my smaller vine charcoal. This is a little light. I want this a little darker yet, so I'm going to go back over it. If you have multiple hardnesses of vine charcoal, I'd recommend using the soft. Okay, so this is becoming a much better, more mid-gray tone. Um, I might do this once more to try to get it a little bit darker, um, but that's the overall, the overall concept to get your paper ready for a subtractive or reductive value drawing.